Hello everybody. Was just reading this offbeat book. Offbeat. This guy's even crazier than me. Uh, writing a heck of a lot about Somdetto. Wait, hey, sorry, I'll show you this. This uh, look on of Somdetto. Uh, Somdet Papadijanto from Rangsi. That's his Yan Duong. His his birth yantra, Sao Kuti, someday a piece of the his Kuti hut, uh, the the wooden, the statues he built, about the amulets he made. This is supposed to be. I have two of these, and uh, this is asking me if I want to tag somebody I don't know in this video. I wish Facebook would stop doing that. No, I don't want to tag and I, it won't leave my screen. Anyway, this is, uh, I call this uh, Tan Sing, uh, but different people call it different things. Uh, so Tan Sing, a lion dace, I call it. And it's supposed to have been made by somebody at Papu de Janto from Rangsi, the block press himself, which is why it's a bit rough. I have two of them, I've looked at them, and all of the Muan San components are there. Um, here is another thing I'd like to show you. This is the Pong we say it, which are the, yant, the chalk sticks used for making Pong Lop, reverse drawing Yantra in chalk powders. This is Rusi chalk made from yantra powders. Uh, so you take one chalk stick and you make 108 yantra with the chalk stick and you take the chalk residues to make a new chalk stick. And then you, uh, that, uh, and that powder you use to make the new chalk stick is called Pong, uh, uh, Pong Putakun, yeah? And the second chalk, the, then the, the second chalk stick, you make another set of powders with 108 yantra. Actually, it's more, it's thousands of yantra. It's not 108, it's thousands of yantra. It's not 108. 108 in Thai means lots and lots and lots and lots. It doesn't mean 108, it's like a way of saying loads of. I mean, absolutely tons of, yeah? 108 things, it means lots of things. So. The second powder you reduced to make the third chalk stick is... Uh, the first powder is called Pong Batamang, the first powder. The second powder from the second chalk stick, the resulting powder is called Pong Putakun. Got it wrong the first time, I'm very sorry. So the first set of Yantra powders is Pong Batamang. Make a new chalk stick with the chalk. Do another thousands of yantra until you're finished. It takes about 10 years to make a full set of five powders on your own. Nightly um, would be Pong Putakun, the second one. The third, then make another chalk stick and do it again. And the third resulting powder would be Pong Trini Sing here. And do it again. Make another chalk stick from that. Make new powders would be. Pong uh, Itije, which is the fourth powder, and then you make another chalk stick from the residues of that to make a final powder. And the final powder from the that's why there's four chalk sticks, not five, because the fifth is not a chalk stick anymore, it's left as powder. It's the fifth powder. So the five special powders is actually one powder because it gets recycled every time. Uh, you make it five, you make the powder into Pong Batamang and then you take Pong Batamang make it into a chalk stick and transform it into Pong Putakun do it again transform it into Pong Trini Sing He do it again and transform the same powder into Pong Iti Je and then uh, you do it again and the final resulting powder is Pong Maharat yeah Pong Maharat which is the five sacred powders uh, this is uh, Nguadin Nguadin Huh? Uh, it's a little bit like chalk but um, it has a strange smell to it 
Uh, and if water touches it, uh, you can. If you mix it with water, you can actually consume it. It's a bit like peat earth or something. Uh, and this is Din Pong Pong Luang, Din Pong Luang, yellow uh, peat marsh earth. And this is what I'm going to talk about, Hin Silati Kun, which some people call Pratat. And this is the white chunks you see in Pat Somdet Wadrakang. Sometimes you'll see a white chunk sticking through the Muan San, through the surface of the clay or in the edges. You see like quartz, like a quartzy substance, yeah? Uh, and uh, this was used in, you might see some very creamy white, the most expensive and highly revered and rare and beautiful Pratsomdep, which were handed out in the Pratawang, Pratnawang, Shai Hin Silati Kun. Uh, this is for making the kind of somdet that I and most of Thai amulet society call pet, which means diamond plaster of Paris <laughs> or diamond uh, diamond cement. This is Hinsi Latikon and it's mysterious. Uh, it's not easy to get this substance, and we'll go into that shortly. So this is also found in tiny fragments within the Pratsum Lit. And this is Poon Kao, or you would call, uh, also used for the uh, Nerpun Pet amulets, the very what, creamy white, highly preferred, most expensive, early era and second era. Uh, so in about 2355, early era, uh, uh, and then in 24... Or something and second era and 2408 to 242 is passing in I think it was 2414 I'm not can't remember exactly uh, these were also mixed with the white ones for Poon Pet some people call it uh, uh, because it is known also for the ones that were handed out that are very creamy and smooth, ancient, 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 very creamy and smooth, whitish, heavenly white powders like like alabaster, like porcelain, yeah, like porcelain, almost like porcelain, and you can see little gold flakes in it. Yeah, we'll have this in, uh, and actually he did put uh, uh, um ivory powders because from ivory things, small pieces of ivory left over that were too small to make an amulet out of or anything, or carve, would be ground down into powders and added also in with this. But this is Poon Kao, which will be Blue Ak Hoi, uh, white seashells, the very, very white seashells you find on the beach. Um, ground is such a fine white powder, and that's why you see through the course of powders of a Pratsom Det, between the armpits and in the crevices, you will see a very, very fine layer of thin white powder, like a mildew, uh, surfacing and stuck to the surface. And that's because the shell powders are much finer than the other powders of the, the five sacred powders of the chalks is a coarser powder. But that the Pong Putaku and the Pong Maharat also comes up. Yeah, and um, the very white ones using Silati Kun and Pluak uh, Hoi, Nepun Kao will be very white and very hard like porcelain. So, um, what I was going to show you was Silati Kun. I have to find the page now of Silati Kun. Here you have ingredients used. Where is Silati Kun? I had the page a minute ago. This is the uh, Tamra which Somnetto found when he went home to visit his mother. <laughs> On one of his outings, he discovered this Bailan Kampi. Uh, and uh, it has, you see, this is in Thai in the top, and this is in uh, Kom here and in Thai. Common Thai, common Thai, common Thai. 
how to make the prat some dead uh, here we have silati kun yeah uh, this was written through pon egg uh, the the i don't know probably a soldier pon egg it means like a commander of a of a thousand people utai uh patom chit hmm? he wrote this uh, this is Lumpunaga, so uh, th some evidence will have been passed on from Lumpunag about this, yeah. But what I wanted to show you was Hinsilati Kun, how difficult it is to get, yeah. Okay, so you can see, and uh, I think I'll just go into the other room, just one moment, where well, you look at a nicer page, we've seen the Silati Kun already, put the light on, and I'm going to get out some 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 that of the kind we just spoke about which some that though was supposed to have made and we get some light going get some light going and we can do here See, this is very tight, like ah, uh, which I'm examining might be from Lumpunak, but this one is from some dead though, like in the book we just looked at, and it's Nerpun Pet, which is what I wanted to talk about. This is Nertak, like ah, uh, you can see it has the crackled surface. But you can see the hand carved. Look at the knots in the arch. That can only happen with real aging. You see the, the, the wobbles and contractions. And the roundness here, you can see it's not been cut with a machine. It's been cut with the hands because it's rounded on the corners. Yeah, and if I could get in close enough, you would see it has not been cut with a machine or pressed. It's been actually cut with a knife, which would be uh, in line with the era. This, by the way, is a Bangkun Prom. Pim Sendai, go Bangkun Prom. And you can see from the crap, go is classic Bangkun Prom. But oh, sorry, I'm anyway, I'm losing the plot because we're going to Nerpun Pet. The point was Nerpun Pet, and here we have Nerpun Pet. Can I zoom? Can I zoom? Sometimes Facebook camera lets me zoom, yeah, lets me zoom. So here we have Nerpun Pet, and in the second era of the making of Prat Som Dead. I think that was when uh, Chang Luang Wei Chan, the royal artisan, made a series of Som Dead for Som Dead Prabhupada Janto. In the second era, in the first era, he made them himself, which will have made many different pim. Some recorded, some not. This is now recorded and being further recorded. Uh, and just handed them out himself on his uh, arms rounds. In the second era, there was a proper making of block press with the Chang Luang Wichan at City Khan. And what is not known by most people is that not nine PIM or ten PIM were made, what the CN Prat have always focused on but that 173 
different models were made and this is for example put some de pat put a quack uh, a waving buddha but it's also a brock paw uh, brock paw put a quack and if i could get the angle right you would see there is gold flakes in it you would see gold flakes and it is nirpun pet which i said of silati kun and blue akhoi this is made for this uh, made with from this uh, substance and this I've never seen another one of this pim I've seen this one which was handed out in the times of Rama 5 also Nirpun Pet and this is Nirpun Pet And written on the back, not by Kruathor himself, but in that early era, will have been helped by somebody because it doesn't say Krua, it says Klua. Because Thai people, and even in restaurants, I see it, they get the R and the L mixed up. So this has been written on by one of the devotees helping was probably a farmer or not many people know how to spell properly anyway in any country you see people misspell things so it's actually misspelled the top Kruato but I know from the Moon San that it is Nirpun Pet and it's a very rare pim indeed very very rare and the age is absolutely um, undeniable and this also, so there were 173 pim plag or not pim, yeah, made, but they were handed out in the palace to people who kept coming and asking. So some did though made this special powder. Whereas here, this is not nerpun pet. This is a pim sendai, like the bankun palm here, which has crab grow on it. You can see, and this one doesn't. So why doesn't it? Because for me, for me, you all have to study and find your own reasons. I've studied thousands of pages and written 380 myself on the Prat Somdet and on Somdet Do. Also about another 300 pages. Um, it's because it's Wadrakang. Wadrakang never put in Grot. Never put in Grots. Grot means a burial chamber. So was never put in a burial chamber. You can see the silati kun in this though. Can you see the chunks here? Piece of silati kun here and in here. You can see the silati kun in the side here. You can see gamping pet in that. The red piece is Prat Gamping Pet. That is after he came back and found the Campy Grimware I just showed you in the book. Which he also took Gamping Pet amulets back with him from visiting his mother and after made the second era of Somdet using broken pieces of Prat Gamping Pet. So you'll find these red flags. Whereas in the first era, he hadn't done that yet. He was using Nirpun Pet, and you won't see the red flakes. You might see little bits of red, but it was not the red flake of Gamping Pet, it's a red flake of something else, which might be Kabung Lang Kabot or something like that, or it might be the din, the, 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 the earth I said that had a strange smell to it. And this one is Tag uh, Lang much clearer. But it is not Nirpun Pet. Yeah, this is Nirpun Pet. And uh, I would say this is also Nirpun Pet. That it's Tag Lang Ah Duay. But has Poon Pet. And this also Nirpun Pet. Can you see? I say this has silati kun in it. Ha 
handed out in the Palachawang Nepun Petle. Beautiful, this one. So, um, and here's another Pim Sendai Ganamantang Il with a lot of num uh, tang oil in it. A lot of tang oil in it. Which is why it has this yellowy look, very thin, which is consistent with a real wadrakang. And you can see Silati Kun here. The bailan, the contractions. So I would say that these two were wadrakang issue, and this is Bankun Pom because of the crab growth, the, the mildew from the three floodings inside the Chedi Stupa where it was buried. And here we have Geche Yo's. And here we have a, this is Geche Yo Jet Chan. But this is a Geche Yo Hok Chan. And it's also like Boon Pet. Huh? Doesn't have much Nam Mantang Eo, it's very white. Whereas this is, of course, lots of naman tang il, uh, tang oil. You can see the yellowy texture to it. You see this line here connecting the the dace to the arch on the seven tiered model. That should be one of the many uh, aspects to gaze at. Won't go into the details of that yet because that's not what this one's about. Also very early era summed it. I think Okrut Danja Okrut. You look at the arch how bulgy and you see the Silati Kun inside and how bulgy it is. You look at the contractions, it's fossilized. It's absolutely fossilized. It's absolutely fossilized. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful this one. That's a Pimyanium. This two. See the Silati Kun what they had to dig for so difficult to get a chunk mm. this one I, for me is on crew because the lines here and the hands and the days is so clear the the angle and the straight bit here is pim long jan and it's old and fossilized on the edges this is these two somdets here are the kind of somdet. There are many kinds of somdet. These, for example, from the 2408, most probably last era, yeah, will be um, less price than something like these, which are Matatan. And here we have another one. Which is a different pim. And here we have Chedi Non. This one is beautiful. Also, oh sorry, that's what Krong Madan. Nong. This I particularly keep hold of, don't seem to want to let go of. It's my birthday, Buddha actually born on a Tuesday. Is a Sayasana Buddha, Sayat, Pim Sayat. 
bank on prom ma. but this also looks like it's either been cleaned or or it's wadrakang because these also sayat but you can see would be cheddy like you you will see in silati kun but you won't see many red particles of gamping pet in bank on prom amulets in bank on prom amulets whereas you will in parts on dead this uh but let's just show this before i go it's a pim kanan a tiny pim but it's wadrakang huh? it's wadrakang and it's very old and it's nerpoon pet very beautiful and maybe this wadrakang Compared with this Wadrakang, you can see the difference in age. Huh? You look at the difference in age between the two. Look at the arch. It's cracking, it's nobbling, it's starting to wobble, contraction from drying over decades and centuries. But look at this one. Look at the contractions and the wobbles of the arch. Hmm. Let's have a look at this boon pet as well of the Rusi. It's such, such an unusual pimp. I'm sure many people like to have another look at that. And the puttaguag is so white, it's like porcelain. Can you see the gold powders? Can you see the gold in it? Okay. Well, I think that's about it for today. What's this? Rumposud what galong? Galong means uh, crow lost its way. It's a crow, sacred powder crow from Rumposud what galong. And this is Rumpugel, what crow one. Okay. Rumputo. Swat Krong Madan. This one is Lumponi or Mataki and Tia. That's probably got Tap Cow. This is Pat Ajanam, Ajanam, Madon Salah. There you go. Ajanam, Madon Salah. Man. Okay, good morning everybody, or good afternoon to you all. Have a nice lunch. <laughs>